Hi guys, what is up? Um, I hope you guys are safe and sane. It sucks to be in such a difficult predicament with the whole MCO 3.0 and all that. Um, I figured while we're home, we might as well try and upgrade ourselves with uh, new skills or cultivate new hobbies just to help us pass time, you know, since we're homebound so much. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a little how-to, sort of a product demonstration video to show you how you can apply coating to your glass. So when it rains, you get that nice water beating effect and you get a much clearer view out. It's a safety thing, so I really recommend everyone who's out there who owns a car to maybe at least try this step out because when it rains, uh, this glass coating is your best friend and your wipers will thank you for it as well. So here goes. Now, as you can see, there's practically no coating on the glass here. So when it rains, all you're gonna see is a blurry image of the outside world. This is not ideal when you're driving in heavy downpour or thunderstorms as, you know, Malaysian weather is typically like. So what we're gonna do today is apply this soft 99 Glaco, uh, which is short for glass coating. There are two products as you can see. The first product we will use here is this glass polish thing, which makes sure the coating that you apply later will bond properly to the glass. So wipe dry, shake the bottle, then work in small sections at a time and keep going until the glass feels smooth. After that, immediately rinse off with water, then be sure to wipe it off completely. You don't want any moisture on the surface. Then take the actual glass coating, shake it, then apply just enough product on the glass so you get an even coverage. You don't need to go ham on it because it doesn't make a difference if you use more product. After that, wait for the coating to haze over, then simply wipe to a dry. Now take a look at the difference just after one coat. You can apply two coats for a more aggressive hydrophobic effect, but I usually only recommend this for the front and rear windscreens. After that, just repeat the same process on all the windows like what I'm about to do right now.
So there you have it guys. It's actually quite an easy process. It's not very complicated. You can buy the glass coating without the glass polish. But in the case of this car, it's a little bit old. So the glass was really in need of some polishing, if I can say so. So the whole process maybe took me under an hour. But if you just want to apply a quick coating after your car wash, <laughs> it's probably only going to take you five minutes tops. And also, I will be putting out another video showcasing the full detail process of this 2013 or 2012 Volkswagen Polo sedan. So if you want to see how I transformed uh, a very scratched up, muddied old car into something that's really glossy, looks brand new, plus this glass coating, you might want to subscribe and stay tuned for that video. Uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. And like I said in this video, if you're looking for something to do, uh, well, this, as I have shown in this video, can be done at home with a little bit of work and you might enjoy the results. So uh, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching and for giving me your time. And uh, if you're also a user of this Soft 99 glass coating, maybe you can have a little chat in the comment section below and take it from there. Maybe tell me how you like it or what are the products I should be checking out. That's also quite value for money. Just tell me. And uh, yeah, I think I'll end it right here. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.